Well, we have told you about the different self-defense weapons that you can buy to protect yourself. But what if you had nothing on you and you were attacked? Well, 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marine is live at Desert Breeze Park and explains how your hands can be your best weapon. Leslie. Yeah, it really comes down to your hands and your voice. Uh, we've been here with Krav Maga instructor Shannon Langwell. And Shannon, you were telling me the things you want to use if you are attacked. What are they? Yeah, so you want to think about using your body's natural weapons, okay? So we've got our palms uh, to hit with palm heels. We've got our fists here to use with hammer fists. We've got our knees and our, our shins okay. to kick to the groin and... Um, yeah, and all that will actually help protect you. But we put together some of your tips in the best ways to protect you if someone attacks you from behind or even comes for your hair. An attack can happen that quickly, and for many women, it only takes mere seconds to be taken down. You need to be able to be the one that protects yourself. Nomad Krav Maga instructor Shannon Langwell walked me through the top three ways to protect yourself. Nice, ready? Go. Now the most common attacks is from someone coming up from behind the victim. Boom, drop your weight down. Langwell says you'll want to keep your body weight center, then use your elbows to attack the suspect's sides until you're able to turn around and palm them in the face. Elbows, elbows, there you go now. But what if the assailant goes for the hair? First thing, use one arm to protect your face, the other to begin hitting the person in the groin. You throw that groin, hit, boom, boom, you come up over the top, hit me in the face. Now we know that is a lot for you to remember. So Shannon, if you are attacked, which we hope no one ever is, but where are the places, the most vulnerable places on a person's body that you need to go for to get the most damage? Yeah, so you want to think about the eyes, the throat, the nose, the groin, and the knees. Okay, so those are your basic body parts that you would want to target mm -hmm. because no matter how much or somebody trains or, or how large they are, their eyes are still going to be vulnerable, their groin is going to be vulnerable, and their throat is going to be vulnerable. Yeah, those areas don't come down to strength, of course. We will go ahead and post all this on our website, ktmv.com. Reporting live, Leslie Manning, 13 Action News.